Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. So in this video, we will be going through UI interface known as VMware Host Client to access and manage our ESXi host. So let's get started. Give ESXi host name i01e.vmlab.local. You will get this UI. Give your ESXi host credentials. And once you successfully logged into your ESXi host, this is your host client where you see our welcome message. Welcome to esx 01 a Just ignore that. Now this is the client what you are seeing. We call it as a VMware host client. Now this client is an HTML5 based client that is used to connect and manage single ESXi host. You can use this VMware host client, uh, HTML5 based client to perform administ basic administrative and troubleshooting tasks. You can also use this client to connect to your ESXi host when your vCenter server is not available. Now when you click on the host tab, you have another two sub tabs. First one is manage. So when you look at the manage, we have another few more options like system wide information. Then we have system wide information will be like we have our advanced settings. So any advanced parameter, if you want to configure, you can select any of the parameter and just do the edit option and you would be able to configure that advanced parameter. That's what this option is all about. You have an auto start option where you want to delay VM reboot or VM shutdown. You can select this, this thing. If you enable it, it will tell you how much, how much second of delay you want to introduce when you want to restart your VMs stop actions what you want to do you want to when you power off your esxi host what do you want to do with your vms you want to power off your vms or you want to suspend your vms or shut down your vms time and date it is your from this option you can configure ntp settings so if you have an ntp server you just give your ntp server information here and just start just start your ntp services so once you do that the ntp service so let's say if i want to start ntp service with host and if I give NTP server pool.ntp.org, sorry, my NTP server is 20.20.20.b1. So just give this information. And if you see your NTP client status is enabled. And if you want to start your NTP service, just start. Now your NTP service is running. Right? Swap option, swap option where you can define about the information about your swap file. So whenever you create a VM, there's a swap file gets created. So where do you want to locate that swap file? So that's what this option is all about. Then we have a hardware section, which is giving information about all your PCI devices. Licensing, it's showing you the host licensing information. So we are using the evaluation mode, which will be getting expired on this particular date, 14th of August. And what are the features we are getting in as part of this evaluation version? So you would you could go and learn all these features basically before license get expired. Refresh if you want to assign a new license, either you can select this tab or if there is another assign, assign license. Just define the license key and you will be able to assign license to your SXI host. Packages, packages tabs will be giving information about what are the packages are installed or what are the kernel modules are installed or drivers are installed as part of this image as inbox drivers. So this is what the list of all the modules or drivers which are shipped with this particular VMware image. Then we have a services tab. So this services tab you can you can start your services, you can stop your services. For example, let's say NTP Devon. Currently my NTP Devon service is running right. If you want to stop that service, just click on the stop tab and your service will be stopped. Security and users. Security and users have a, a few more options like the acceptance level, authentication, what to, if you want to connect it with your to directory, you can join with the CSXI host with a domain, certificates information you can configure, users and roles you can configure, and lockdown mode. So that's what the manage tab is all about. Now let's go to monitor. 
monitor tab is more about monitoring used for monitoring stuff so monitor if you see this is the performance chart and there you can select if you want to create a graph a performance chart for cpu memory network disks let's say you want to do it for memory just select the memory and your graph will be populated here with the consumed host memory what is the average memory usage maximum minimum on this chart default color you can decide and all these things if you want to have a specific vm's memory consumption you can select we don't have any vm so far deployed on the csxi host but if you have a vm's you can select the vm's here then we have a hardware tab so hardware tab you have again information about if is there any system wide hardware events are being generated you can see it here storage it's saying we don't have any sim broker daemon is not running so obviously you won't be able to populate this information but there you can see all your hardware state information so this hardware tab will giving you information about all the health state of your hardware devices now events tab will be giving you information about what are the events could get triggered on that specific host what time and if there any information this information will be populated here firewall configuration has changed operation disable for room so that's what the event got triggered so that's how all the event information you can get it from here then we have a tasks tab so whichever information whichever task you are performing on your esxi host it gets logged in that task tab so it's the same task tab what we see here what we see here and that's what the same tab we could see here as well then we have a logs tab so logs tab will be showing the information about what are the logs we have like we have a vpx log vopd log vvm kernel warning logs daemon logs system logs authentication log daemon logs so there are a lot of log files which gets created after installation of esxi host and every log file has its own significance for example esx update.log whenever you are doing any update on your esxi host those update information will be logged to this esx update.log dh client any of the di client dh related information will be logged in this particular file fdm is fault tolerance fault tolerance management agent logs vm kernel log any event vm kernel log will be shown here and once you click on any specific specific log you would be able to browse there itself if you look at the vpx log we center agent log just click on that log you would be able to browse the log on this html client itself so you don't need to log into your esxi host console and then going to the cli and browsing it there itself you can go and look at the logs if you want to generate support bundle just click on the support bundle and what the support bundle will do it will collect all the logs and it will save all this log into a single zip file and you can you can download that zip file and use it for your further anal analysis right so once i click on this generate support bundle now it's it's creating that bundle for us just click on refresh action tab again the same thing watch notification tab notification tab whenever you are doing any operations okay which which are which are a kind of uh, expose your system more from the security perspective you will see the notifications like since we have enabled ssh shell and we have enabled as esxi shell right so that's why it has generated a warning message saying that you have enabled as esxi shell and as the service on this host so these kind of notifications will get logged in this particular tab so that's all in this video guys so that's what if you so now if you see your support bundle has completed right creation of support bundle has completed you can download the support bundle from here so just click on download and it will start downloading your support bundle in the zip file so it's pretty easy to use and and a very lightweight client as compared to what we had it earlier a c sharp is client so it is a very light lightweight client and it's a very and the good part of this client is you can access your esxi host with the browser itself so that's that's all in this video guys in next video we'll be going through all the remaining options like virtual machine storage and networking thanks for watching this video